everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make soya milk at home with just soybeans and water. You can flavor it with your own choice of sweetener or use the plain soya milk to make other things like your own tofu or cultured cheese. Keep in mind that this soy milk tastes very different from most commercial brands which usually have a dozen ingredients or more. But this is so easy and cheap to make. Most importantly, it contains protein that is healthy, plant-based, and helps support healthy muscles and organs. Soy milk is also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are healthy fats that your body cannot form on its own. Omega-3 fatty acids are linked to a reduced risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It is totally healthy and can even help you start your own soy milk business. Here are the ingredients and materials that you will be needing. First, you need of course dry soybeans soaked in water, a blender, condensed milk or any sweetener, a strainer, not milk bag or clean cloth, and a cup. To start, soak some dry soybeans in fresh water for a day or two. You can usually find them in supermarkets where dry soybeans are sold for only 50 to 60 pesos per kilogram. In my case, I have only used half kilogram or three cups of dry soybeans. I just soak these for one day. As you soak them for hours, little foam seem to appear on top but is totally okay and normal. Just drain the beans, add more fresh water, and now we'll remove the skins. All you need to do is reach in and rub the beans between your fingers. This is my quick and somehow dirty method. You want to get most of the skins off, but don't worry if there are some left in. Picking them out is tedious, so to make it easier, you can add more water, mix the beans around, and kind of skim the top as beans are heavier and will sink to the bottom. Just repeat this a few times. With the skins, just throw them out or add them to your compost. Now drain the beans again and put them in the blender. My 3 cups of dry beans turned into 7 cups once rehydrated. My blender isn't big enough for everything so I'm doing a cup of beans at a time. To that, I added some water. The ratio between the cup of beans and water is 1 is to 2. Blend until the beans are well pulverized but not liquefied. In my regular household blender on its high speed setting, this took about 1 minute. You won't need that long if you use a high speed blender though. Blend too little and you'll get a thin milk. Blend too long and it will really be difficult to strain. Pour the blended milk to a container. Repeat the process until the last cup of beans. Now get your not milk bag or jelly bag and strain the milk out. If you don't have a not milk bag or a jelly bag, any clean cloth appropriate for straining will also work. Squeeze the bag or cloth gently but firmly to get all the milk out. The leftovers are known as okara. It is full of protein, fiber, and other nutrients so you can actually use this in other recipes for a boost. For instance, we have once tried making our burger patty out of okara, which is indeed nutritious. Now the raw soya milk needs to be boiled to get rid of that plenty plant taste. Bring the soya milk to boil on a high large pot or pan. Stir it constantly so that the milk doesn't start to form a skin on the bottom. Let it boil for a couple of minutes but keep stirring it to keep it from sticking to the bottom and also to keep it from boiling over. After a couple of minutes of this, turn the heat to medium or medium low. At this point, you can let it simmer for just 10 minutes or more up to a couple of hours. Taste it now though, it will be a bit beany and maybe a little bitter. The longer you cook it, the more the proteins will break down and the beany and bitter flavor will get less and less. It will start to smell a little bit on the sweet side. You will want to keep an eye on it so it doesn't bubble over. I let it simmer for about half an hour. I like it flavorful and somehow chocolatey so I poured half of the milk to a container while I added 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder to the remaining one. It's difficult to dissolve the powder so it could be better to use a mixer or a beater. Set aside but continually stir it to cool faster 
for at least 10 minutes. You can also drink it while it's hot. Finally, it's ready! Taste it and add a sweetener if you like. In my case, I am using a condensed milk. Others also apply some maple syrup. Since making this one is a perfect way in starting a business, you can fill it in some empty plastic bottles. To store, keep it in the fridge for up to 3 days and that's it! With just half kilo of soybeans, I have made 9 bottles of soya milk. You can sell this for 20 to 25 pesos, and you can earn at least 180 pesos for just 70 pesos capital. Our youth at church have already started this business with 2,000 pesos profit for 100 bottles. Enjoy drinking! Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more easy vegan recipes. Bye for now!